In this video, you will learn the step-by-step -step instructions on how to start and stop the steel cutoff saws. The TS410, 420, 700, and 800 series will all have very similar procedures. Press the throttle trigger lockout and throttle trigger simultaneously and hold both triggers down. Then move the slide control to the start position and then release the throttle trigger and throttle trigger lockout and the saw will remain in the starting throttle position. So now we need to set the choke according to engine temperature. So we have hot, which is off, warm, which is half, and cold, which is on. We're going to set this one to cold since this is the first start of the day. On the TS700-800 series, you'll need to press the button of the decompression valve before each starting procedure. The TS410 and 420 units do not have it. Next, press the bulb of the manual fuel pump 7 to 10 times, even when the bulb is filled with fuel. Place the cutoff machine carefully on the ground, ensuring that the abrasive wheel cannot touch the ground or any objects. There must not be anyone within the swivel range of the cutoff machine. Make sure you have firm footing. Press the cutoff machine firmly against the ground, holding the handle with your left hand. Place your right knee on the shroud. Alternatively, you can put your foot in the handle to hold it on the ground, but if you're wearing steel toe boots, your foot will likely not fit. Pull the starter grip slowly with your right hand until you feel it engage, then give it a strong pull. Do not pull the starter rope all the way. When the engine is fired after the first few pulls, which mean you heard it try to start up, set the choke lever to hot and press the button of the decompression valve if it has one and continue cranking. Once the engine is running, squeeze the throttle trigger fully and let it run at full throttle for approximately 30 seconds. The slide control will automatically move to the normal position when the throttle trigger is squeezed. When you're finished with the cutoff machine, turn the control to stop or zero. If the tank has been drained completely, refuel Press the manual fuel bulb 7 to 10 times, even if it's full of fuel. Then set the choke lever in accordance with the engine temperature and restart the engine.